If you're someone who's strapped for time and needs to create a portfolio that is clean, simple, and easy to make updates and changes to, well, this is the video for you. Today, we're gonna to be creating one in Notion, um, a very powerful productivity tool used for like documentation, organization, collaboration, and in this situation, a portfolio. So let's get into it. So here, we're going to create a page in Notion, and I'm just gonna call this my portfolio. portfolio. Right, and so this is an empty page, and I am gonna start by just creating a big old like header, and just say, hello, welcome to my portfolio. And then you can add icons and stuff, not icons, what do you call those emojis if you want. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then a little bit of what you do. I, I'm a, a product designer in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, cool. So what we said was, right, our work is the most important. So what I'm going to do here is create a gallery view, and this is gonna be a new database in Notion. And I'm gonna call this case studies, studies, studies. And I'm gonna create a new database. And what's really cool is that you have these cards that pop up, and these cards are essentially going to be almost like the, the tiles that you commonly see on like websites. Uh, for uh, portfolios and they're going to act like that. And we're going to create a template now for our uh, case studies so that again, when you create your case studies, you can easily just start from a template and go from there. So new template and I'm gonna call this case study and I'm going to just add a heading one. That's not a heading one, a heading one a heading two, heading three, and then a divider here. I'm also going to include a toggle. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna create a table of contents here, contents, and add a little book icon because it's cute. And Let's bolt that. And what you can do is you can add a table of contents here and it will take all, based on everywhere you have a header, it will list out that as a piece, as a part of the table of contents. Um, and something that I wanted to add here, which I think is really cool, and this is part of the nice to haves, but I think this is a really powerful piece of Notion, is you can create a, a block. What is that block? Here it is, a synced block. And in this synced block, if you want it to, you can create something for, you can do Twitter here. You can do, I'm gonna do a briefcase, not briefs. LinkedIn, and then a uh, camera. For Instagram, nope, that's not what I wanna do. This Instagram. And then I'm going to create a link. That's not a link. Link. Oh, and you can link to other pages, which is pretty awesome. No, I just want to create this as a normal link. Uh, Twitter.com. Obviously, this would be something that you would put like your links here, but I'm just filling these in. Okay, so you have this and that's really cool where I can do a return, I can do a home here and then return home and then I can link this to Tantan's portfolio. So if people wanna go back to look at your homepage, they can do that. So here you have everything here. And so because this is sync blocked, if you, copy this, right, let's say you copy this and you put this back on your homepage here or something of like, reach out and you put this here. If you make any changes, oh, 
If you make any changes to this block, like if you change the link to this Instagram or your LinkedIn and then you update it, it will persist and change across all these blocks. So you don't have to go to each page and make the change. It's like essentially a component in Notion. So let's go back to this template. Um, but, and just make sure we're good. Okay, cool. I'm gonna remove this delete property because that's not really important. And I'm going to change this to a text and I'm going to call this overview. And so what this is going to be is like the little blurb that you may want to little blurb about this project. And then of course you can add an icon, which is common. Sometimes I'll use this and I'll put like a, what do you call it? Like a mobile, like a phone here or a desktop, depending on like the platform that the case study is associated with, you know, that's just like a hint of what it is. You can really put whatever you want. You can also just not have it. And then you can add a cover here and you can change the cover and use thing, different things to associate with the project. A lot of times you can use, like if you have specific thumbnails you have for your project, then this is also a great option to just put that image there. So yeah. This is a really simple case study uh, template and I believe we're done here. So what we can do now is instead of making the MP page the default, let's make the this the default. So for all case studies, nice. So here we have, if I were to create a new thing or a table, uh, add a new uh, gallery piece, then this defaults to that uh, template and you can quickly start to begin and create and add content to your case study. Um, so you don't have to like think too much. You can think more focused on the content and uh, about the case study. Okay, so you have a bit of a blurb here. We have this, we have showing our work, which is really important. And what's really cool is that like, this will be public to everyone, but then you can also, ease, because it's like, this is like a documentation, creating documents and organization type of platform, like maintaining and changing these things is super easy. Like if I have a typo, like I don't have to like, for me, what I've realized, like I don't have to log into this whole other system. Like I can just come to this public link and uh, make the changes um, and edits. So, all right, here we go. Let's add uh, an icon here to maybe represent like myself here a little bit more. And then let's add a cover. Uh, let's change the cover to something. I like this. So let's add this here as the cover it will let me add. Apparently not. Okay, let's add this one instead. Okay, cool. Anyway, so yeah, here we are. This is, this is it. This is all you need to get started to create a portfolio. You have a list of your works here, a little bit of an introduction. Last thing, but not least, something simple, the easy, uh, is the about me. You can use the AI uh, that Notion just released to write it about me. This is kind of scary how I can do this. Wow. I usually write my own about me's because I'm very particular about my about me's, but honestly, this is a great place to start. And again, if you're strapped for time, shh. technology. So yeah, this is, this is a portfolio. You have your work, you have a little blurb, you have your about me that's down here, or you have your, you can move it up here and you, you can easily drag and, uh, and move around all the content pieces. Um, you reach out, you have your, your page here, and then you can also like include your email as well. That is important to you. And then because you can make multiple columns, you can switch it out, contact me. You can do whatever you want and please. 
uh, with this uh, portfolio. But we're done. We're done with creating a portfolio. Again, the, the biggest thing on lift and work that you'd have to focus on is the case study area. Um, and I, we could do a whole other thing about case studies in another day, but again, that it would take a lot longer because that really is, again, I, I believe this, this is the meat and potatoes of uh, when you share your portfolio and what people are going to be looking at. So here is an example of what would happen if I had a little bit more time um, and I wanted to put a little bit more effort into making my Nordstrom portfolio a little bit more me. Again, adding those detailed branding elements and then adding like thumbnails and things to my uh, case studies and projects. So again, I did the hello and then a brief, a product designer based in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I added my like logo here as the icon instead of just some other emoji. And then here's the background that I chose. I probably could have picked something, but I think I'm pretty sure I chose something from just like Unsplash, uh, just because I liked how it like worked in this, uh, this situation. And then here are my different case studies, like project one, two, three, four, and I can organize it differently depending on what I'm feeling. Um, a quick about me, and again, you can use different columns, so you can create more than one or two columns. You can adjust the size depending on what you want to uh, make larger and smaller. What's really cool is that you can also make this page full width if you wanted to, but I do not want to do that. Uh, and then here are the different links that I'd have, like my email, uh, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, Instagram. And then here is a PDF of my resume. So if you want, you can always add a PDF and you can just, you can embed a PDF or you can add a file and upload a file of your resume. So that's essentially what I did here is this. And then here are my side, side projects and I made this into another database. And instead of doing a gallery view, I just created a quick list of things. And then these are the different links that people, you can send people to if you have links that are associated with your side projects. And then this is a, something that I think is important to consider is like these thumbnails, right? So if I open them up, these images, you can do some stuff to the, uh, to this database to change how you want to present your image. So maybe if you don't, you're not a huge fan of like having the image at the top for some reason, you can change cover and like remove it. And so you don't have it there. Um, and that's also a possibility, but then these would stay empty, right? So, and, and what's really great about the gallery view is again, it gets, it creates that visual interest for people to go towards and look, your, look at your work. There's another way to include an image. So there's Mario um, and there's another thumbnail, but instead of it being in the cover, it's part of the content. And what you can do is you can go to the layout and you can change the card preview. So it can be the page cover, it can be the content. And so if the image is the first thing, it's gonna be the first thing that shows up here. Or you could just not, non, none, if you don't want any and you can just focus on the uh, titles. And here again, you have that brief description of the project, so where your overview is. If that's not uh, apparent in presenting itself, again, it's about how um, what, what you wanna display here. So your properties, you have the name, and you have the overview. So if you won't want an overview, you could probably just remove that, or you could just hide it. Whatever floats your boat. It's really whatever you want. But yeah, that's how that works. So. Anyway, so this is more of a final example of like how and what it could look like, but I feel like it covers most of the bases that I care to have covered. It's a little bit about the stuff that I do outside um, and about me, my links, my work right at the top. And then you can share this. You can share this link and you can copy the web link and you can share it and paste it. If you're applying for a job and they're asking for a portfolio link, you can share it. So once you share it, you have the ability to determine like what they can do. You can, uh, if they can uh, edit it, add comments, duplicate it, or, you know, add it as search engine indexing. I usually like just keep it all off just so that if someone's looking through it, it's really just like looking at a website. Um, if you want to have like a unique 
a domain you just go buy a domain and what you're going to have to do it really depends on what domain service that you use but you'll just have to forward the domain to this link that you have so there you have it a portfolio created in notion it's really quick and easy to set up and get out there into the world if you want i put a link in the description uh, for the completed one that i have and you can duplicate it and make it a template if that's something you want to use if you've ever created a portfolio with notion let me know i'd be really interested to see like how you created the portfolio but other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.